Hi everybody, it's Jean Marie. We're going to make a bracelet and a pair of earrings today that I will be selling as a kit in my Etsy shop. Uh, they are not going to be put together and you will have to revert back to this video to see how to put it together because there won't be any instructions in the kit itself. No handwritten instructions, just what's here on this video. So here they are and this one is a bracelet made with turquoise chip beads these little um, gosh this light is it's either pure light or shadows <laughs> I can't seem to get one or the other but we have these turquoise chip beads these crystals that are kind of like an opalite and topaz shimmer to them and a button closure with a leather toggle for it. So it's very southwestern. Really cute. Easy, light, light and easy to wear. The earrings are they're a Lamport glass chili bead. And they are just simply strong. They have crystals and a jump ring and a stud ear post. And they're a very quick, easy, light, really cute pair of earrings. They'd be really cute for Cinco de Mayo or just an evening out with the girls at, you know, margaritas or something. <laughs> they would fit that theme very well. Um, again, this one has a nice little southwestern theme to it. So, whoop. Sorry, bumped the camera, trying to itch my elbow. <laughs> had a mosquito biting me. So here we have the finished products. So we'll move these out of the way, and I'll show you how to make them. We are going to use our normal tools, two pairs of pliers of some sort, uh, your cutters, and your round nose pliers. So there are those when we will start with the bracelet so everything you're going to need is going to be in here to make it you're going to have a leather strap it's going to be more than long enough to accommodate any size you're going to have all the eye pins you need that goes with that one and how it fell into here <laughs> You're going to have your button and your little crystal beads, your turquoise chip beads, and your two textured rings. So to put it together, it's pretty straightforward. It's just taking your eye pins and stringing up three turquoise chip beads per eye pin and you will end up with five, five, yeah, five sections. So when you get them on, just give them a little shake and a shimmy just to get the chip beads to settle together. And then take a pair of pliers or your fingernail or whatever works for you. Just give your wire a little bend. that and you're going to cut it off so that there's about one quarter of an inch and then just simply I say simply and then I struggle simply <laughs> roll a loop back it's, it's my life <laughs> Uh, say one thing and do another. Okay, so there there you have it. We're just going to make five sections of these. So I'm going to do those up real quick here for you. I'll try to adjust my chair without making too much of a mess. So, three chip beads. Get them into place.
bend them over a bit. Cut them off. to go. So I will be uploading these and probably the finished jewelry from my bargain bead box into my Etsy shop. I'll probably do my photographs tonight. Today is Saturday. Um, so I'll probably take my, do my photographs tonight and Sunday work on uploading them all into my Etsy shop. I'm a little behind on that department. I have not gotten the last two months worth of product from the bargain bead box uploaded and I feel really bad about that because every video I make I tell people oh these will be in my Etsy shop and <laughs> I'm not getting them into my Etsy shop because it's just not enough hours in a day but I will I will try to get that all done this weekend. And what a beautiful day it is here today. It's in the 70s. Um, slight breeze. No humidity. Absolutely gorgeous. Feels almost like a fall day without quite as much chill in the air but it's definitely on its way. You can tell it's coming. Which doesn't hurt my feelings any. I love fall. Fall in Maine is absolutely gorgeous. I don't really even mind the winter that follows it. <laughs> but I've been a mean girl my whole life, so. <laughs> no. I'm used to it. I mean, oh, that one broke. Oh, no. I thought it was awfully close to the edge. Well, I am going to continue making it anyway to show you how to put it together, but I definitely will check the boxes kits before they go out to make sure that none that are so close to the edge that that could happen again. But for a finished product it'll be fine. I can still show you how it how it goes. So then the next step is going to be stringing up. I don't know why I call it stringing up. We're not stringing anything. Beating up? Wiring up? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways putting two crystals on the remaining four eye pins. And really, other than making, making the uh, simple loops on the end, this is a very very easy bracelet to put together and really quick and it can be done with any kind of chip beads and crystals it doesn't have to be the turquoise chip beads it could be you know rose quartz or muakite I mean muakite would be really really pretty I love muakite I think it's gorgeous And there would be so much color. So there's our four pieces of gemstone, um, gemstone crystal <laughs> sections. There's our broken bead, but that's okay. It will work. So we're just going to take 
and open one end of a turquoise put on the crystal section close it back up and just keep working your way up alternating between crystal and turquoise Nope, it wasn't closed very well anyway. It's a good thing I'm opening it, closing it. These turquoise chip beads are gorgeous. I don't remember where I got them. eBay maybe. Well, it could have been the bargain bead box sister store, bead box bargains. Could very well have been. I buy a lot of my stuff through them. They're a good site. They've always got really good stuff. So we're almost there. Again, like I said, it goes together very, very quickly. So there's the beaded section all done. Very, very pretty. Boy, that one chip bead right there really pokes out. <laughs> uh, whoops, oh, I'm so sorry. And um, it's the problem with trying to work underneath a tablet that is hovering above your desk. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry about that. So we're gonna take the big ring Open it up and put that on one end. Oop, get it closed up good and tight. Or struggle, I guess. There we go. Now it's into place. Take the smaller one. Try to find the opening. That's the problem with the textured ones, is they are hard to find the openings on them because it blends in with all those little textures. We're going to put that on the opposite end. Feed on our button. Close it up tight. And then we have this. So for your leather, you're just going to fold it in half. Take your folded end. Feed it right through the big button. I mean the big ring. <laughs> Loop first. Pull your strands through. Just like that. Tie an overhand knot. Don't tighten it until you've got the space for your button right. Just a little more on there. That looks good. So if your button will fit through, then you're good to go and tighten it. And that's all there is to it. You can leave these hanging. You can trim them down. You could um, glue cord ends on it and put little dangles on the end. That would be really cute. But there is... <laughs> or you could just, you know, have it fall apart on you. <laughs> uh, see if I can close that a little bit tighter this time. You really do want to make sure you get these nice and tight because they will slip out. There we go. That's much better. And there's a cute little Southwestern style bracelet. Button bracelet.
which are very, very popular right now. So there's that. I'm going to clean these things out of the way, all my little ends, and we'll put together these really cute little earrings. That over here out of the way. Let's get these dumped out. You will have two eye pins because this is essentially what the whole earring is. You will have four bead caps, two of the little Lamport chilies. I think they are so, so cute. Two rings two ear backs and ear posts, two red crystals and four of the little crystal bicones. And it's literally as simple as just putting on beads, um, a, you know, one of your green crystals, a bead cap, the red bead, another bead cap, and another green crystal. And that's really all there is to this piece. So you do your normal bend, quarter inch cut. You roll it, roll your simple loop. Boy, I'm not doing very well with my simple loops today. There's that section all done. We'll do another one up real quick here. Your bicone. Bead cap. Red bead. <laughs> bead cap. And your bicone. Give it a bend. Trim it off. That one came out a little better. So there's the two sections of that. On one end, you're going to open. Just open it right up. Feed on your ear post. And then close it back up. it up. Put on your little ear caps. Cat hair. <laughs> then you're going to open up your textured jump ring. Put it through the other end. And you're going to go right through the loop of your chili, your little Lamport chili bead, and just close it right up tight. And there you have it. Super cute little chili pepper earrings. Put the chili pepper on the other one. These are pretty dainty. I mean, I wouldn't wear them and go do something that's going to be, you know, a lot of uh, rough and tumble, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I had four boys. Rough and tumble was a word I used a lot. <laughs> you definitely don't want to, you know, I mean, you want to be gentle with them. They, you know, that is glass after all, and it will break. But there they are. Again, I think they would be so cute for Cinco de Mayo. Or an evening out at, you know, chilies. <laughs> Why not? Why not chilies? <laughs> so I hope you like them. Um, again, the kits are in my Etsy shop, Wildfire Jewelry Store, Capital W, Capital J, 
capital S, Wildfire Jewelry Store. The kits will be available. This, this bracelet, I think I have six kits for, because that's all the chip beads I had for it. Um, the earrings, I'm pretty sure I have ten kits for this one. I had two packages that I had bought from bargain, the Bargain Bead Box, box Store. Um, and they came in packs of 10, so I had two packages, so I had just enough to make 10 sets of earrings. And that's including the two I've got put together, which I will be disassembling and putting into kits. So, that is including them. I will be getting them put into the shop, as I said, hopefully tomorrow, which will be Sunday. I hope everybody enjoyed the tutorial. And I hope everyone comes back again. And... If you like it, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you'll know when I'm uploading something new, and yeah, so until next time, I hope everybody has an incredibly wonderful weekend this weekend, and I will see you when I see you. Bye!